Here we go. Now you can see better. I cannot see better. Oh, that works. Put it back. That didn't work. All right. I'm not using a selfie stick. Stop. And I'm sitting on a park bench before I get started. And this is, say hi, Bruce. Say hi. Say hi, old man. Yeah, old man he is. Well, I'm a little burnt out on YouTube. A lot burnt out. Stop. And I keep getting interrupted. I don't know where the poo-poo thing is. Take it back up there. I know there's a trash can by the building. I can clean up doggy do. It's his turn. Anyways. Uh, the whole Britain thing. I like puzzles. I really do. And it kind of dawned on me. I was like, oh my god. Now, mind you, dawned on me means... This happened about October, November time. I had gotten some communications. And I was like, oh. And without going into many details, because I really don't know if I would, it would be appropriate, is it the more the word, to talk. But I would say that I would really trust the fact that there is an underlying power fighting for Brexit. Which is good and scary, because it wouldn't be the kind of power I would want, but mm, to each his own. Yeah, he likes to beat up other dogs, and apparently today is a busy day. Everybody's bringing their dogs. He don't like other dogs. I'm just waiting for my arm to get jerked. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this one because it's just going to be random crap. Maybe I'll talk again later. Who knows? I, but I, I really am getting burnt out. And um, I guess I'm just tired of looking at psychos and crazy people and Oh gosh, stop. Look at this. Cry about it. Tell him. Tell him. Is he, is he not coming fast enough? They're crying over a kid. Good grief. Don't get me wrong. I love him. He's a butthead. He is a butthead. Yeah. Let's go on a walk. I just thought I'd share how violent this tree is. Look at how big that thorn is. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, it's just the first. No All right. Yeah, we left him. I'm not so burnt out. I want to quit. But I would like some happy things. I think I'm going to do a sprint of one. Crowd dynamics. It's the funny ones. Kids. Relationships. Mm. You know what? I could even do females and males and give away all those dirty little secrets. I have to put parental advisors on those though. Maybe I can crusade to defeminize the female population and uncloud the male brain. <sighs> Who knows? Bruce isn't always gonna walk with us because he drives me nuts. Although he's pretty good at walking. Say hi, Bruce. I don't know if you saw him. That and he 
seems like every time I take him anywhere, everybody else brings their dogs. It's like, oh, the vibe's out. Mandy's bringing her dog. Let's all bring our dogs. You know, because this one likes to eat ones. I think the only reason he didn't eat Grizzly is because she was in heat and they had some fun. He's fixed. And Grizzly is too. Now. So, for all the uh, really psychopathic videos and things of that nature, I won't stop. Obviously, they're needed to be done. But, we'll definitely try and do as little as those as possible unless current events demands that I do. Just assume anyone who's in the public eye is a snake. Hey, that'll work out. They're a snake. Nice to see what Le Pen's doing. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. Very strong woman. Nice brain. <laughs> oh well. And no, well, I do have a story. Pee on everything. Tyler went to PT yesterday. Yeah, his boo boo is still open because I'm an idiot. I swear, sometimes people take things as a challenge and it really shouldn't be. You know what he did yesterday? With everyone there? Played Frisbee. That was his PT. He played Frisbee. You know, when I was in CAP, we didn't play Frisbee. We did shit like Hiding in the woods, hunting people down. Good morning. Oh, well, I'm not the only one that has a dog that wants to eat others. <laughs> Anyways. I remember going camping, and I mean real camping, no electricity. We, well, we had a spigot for water. No showers, no baths, nothing. If you were funky, you were living in it. You were there four days. During that four days, we learned how to infiltrate the other side. And I'm not talking like a football size area. We had five acres, two teams. One took one side and we took the other. And the goal was capture the flag, but you couldn't get caught. You couldn't be seen. There was one moment was like, I'm had now. I'm, I've got, you got me. He thought I was a deer. I thought you were a deer. Whew, that trick worked. <laughs> uh, neither one of us teams could infiltrate the other. We did pretty good and we were playing at nighttime. So kudos to both sides. We did a capture fly paintball. I always played the sniper. Get out of the trees, Mandy! Get out of the trees! You can't climb in the trees. They don't want you in the trees. <sighs> That's where I'm good at. Being in the trees. <sighs> I had one incident. I was not in a tree. And I used my coat as a blind because it was green in between two trees. 
I can't see it. See it and him. I was a guy and an it. Do you see him? Do you see him? No, it's coming from both directions. The uh, overseer, one of the instructors, was watching the whole thing go over. And by chance, it didn't break on me, but one of the balls flew over my pants leg. He's like, no, you're still in, get him. <laughs> you know, I had a really crappy childhood, but man, the times destroying people and pretend killing them. Oh, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> oh, I think it was the, just the whole fun of cat and mouse. And I enjoy being the cat. We did another one. We're, uh, it's king of the hill. Yeah, I always lost. How did that go, man? You get shot first. I think it was called payback. Either that. But now I won't go there. Uh, I'm taking it really easy on this trail. Yes, mentally I'm exhausted, which makes my body mentally exhausted. And we got the dog who's not really used to this either. And if I ran him like I run myself and the boy here, well, I'd be stopping every few minutes so he can have diarrhea. What else has Mandy done that's fun and interesting? Well, I found out from my last class that apparently I learned things in school that I just think everybody should have learned in school. Odd. That school stayed open. I don't know why they closed it down. But you can Google it. You won't find much anyways. It's Dr bleh. James Hurst Elementary School, Portsmouth, Virginia. short history of staying opened. They dumped a lot of money into that school. And I never really followed up on why they shut it down. Right in the middle of crack town. Well, when I was there, it was not crack town. It was just craddock. But it really was its own little world. Its own little town square in the middle of mega cities its own school system its own town square our own big guns now I think about it quite an anomaly you can't say hi to everybody Anyways, we used to walk that neighborhood all over God and creation. I wasn't a horrible kid, but well before my parents split. But I was definitely not a saint. I guess, you know, my sisters and I were, my sister and I were tomboys. The youngest was, well, she was too young to join the ranks of us. We would, uh, I don't even know how to put it. We didn't go around beating people up. We just enforced morality. I don't know what was mentally going on. You come to think of it, there's a lot of anomalies in this area. All the little boys were grabbing little girls. You'd think I was in some kind of psycho world or something. Humping people. And we're not talking like 12 and above. 
five, six, seven, up to about nine. My sister and I took it upon ourselves that we'd had enough. And well, we just started fighting back. Learned a whole lot of combat skills then. The little boys probably learned some combat skills too. And then one little boy who was bigger than me showed up. Now mind you, I am the midget of my family. But I also have the most muscle. Or my sisters are all tall and lanky. I'm athletic. So I definitely didn't expect my other sister to help me. Sorry, jumping. Well, it got to the point where I realized that having hair was not to my advantage and neither was it to her. But we did come quickly to realize that moving in tandem with each other was very, very strategic. I think I missed that part too, having a partner. And I don't mean sexual, I just mean partner in general. Someone who's at your skill level or is quick to learn it. That's my stories for today. Next time, I'll talk to you about horses. Now that, that'll make you wonder how I survived. <laughs>